If thou will enter into life, keep the commandments. How are we going to enter into life? By following God's rules. There you go. That's right. So if a baby could understand the Bible, what's going on with these adults? Come on now, dog. Come on, man. Come on. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. Right. And they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. Mortality is rulership. What's your name, uh, young man? D. D? D? You said D? So what you learned so far? Checking y'all out, man. Okay, okay. I believe in Jesus Christ, bro. I believe in God. Okay. Everybody, I mean, everybody got their own... I'm telling you, I'm telling you like this, bro. I got a call in my life, too, man. I'm not, I'm not living with this man. See, neither. God give me, I give. If you don't give me, I don't give. When you tell me, when you tell me speak, I speak. If you tell me don't speak, I don't speak. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, God gonna deal with everybody on their own understanding, bro, on their own knowledge, on, mm -hmm. on, their, on, their, own, on their own learning, bro. I mean, everybody got their own time. God gonna deal with God gonna deal with me like he's dealing with me right now, bro. Mm -hmm. It ain't no secret. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm going through my journey, bro, through mm -hmm. my walk, man, with, with the Lord, bro. Mm -hmm. He teach me a lot of things, man. I learn a lot of things. I'm not taking it for granted. Mm -hmm. I'm taking advantage of every, every step, bro, and I, I still do my, Hey, every day, you know what I'm saying? Right. But the thing is, bro, the Bible says there's no need. You, you won't, you won't be no need for no man to teach you anything, but by, but the Spirit, but the Holy Spirit teach you every, every, everything you know, bro. Right. So, you know what I'm good, so you saying man shouldn't teach this? Only the Holy no, Spirit? No, that's what the Bible says. Okay. You know what I'm saying. Okay. So <laughs> first, give me Jeremiah seven. Jeremiah seven. Um, dealing with this Bible, right? Yep. Who did? God deliver out of Egypt. In Israel. How? By the signs and wonders. From who? From Pharaoh. Egypt. Not from Pharaoh. The signs and wonders from who? Who did the signs and wonders to deliver Israel? God did it through Moses. All right. Yeah. Very good. So, if God did it through Moses, what makes us today in 2024? That the Lord won't speak to His children again in the last days through men. He speak every He speak every day, man. Right, right, right. He speak, he speak every He speak He speak every day. Right. But, but, but when, it, when, it, when it come down to, the, to when it come down to the word, bro, everybody. I mean, people gonna, gonna, gonna kick, but speak what they, what they how, what, how they understand, bro. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is, bro, I, I I I read my read my word. I read my word to show myself the truth. I'm okay. going by what, I'm going by what the word says. I'm not going by what man say. Right. We agree. That, that's, that's all. That's all I'm we saying. Agree. I ain't talking about y'all, man. Y'all, y'all do what God calls y'all to do, bro. And keep doing it, bro. Okay. So now, okay. with yeah. that, right? Do you still feel that you need to be taught by men? I mean, when God, when God speaking, He's gonna send, He's gonna send people to you. Okay, I like that. He's gonna send people to you. So let's read that real quick. Read that. Jeremiah chapter seven, verse twenty-five. Mm -hmm. Since the day that your fathers came forth out of the land of Egypt. Until this day, have I even sent you all my servants, the prophets? So, God sent prophets, no matter if we was in the time of Babylon, under the rulership of Medes, right. under the rulership of Greek, right. under the rulership of the Romans. Right. God will always send men to come and preach his word, right? Do you agree? Yeah. Okay, so now, with that, out of everything you've been studying, what does God require of you? Personally, well, well, let's say the truth. Yeah, let's 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 keep it there. You, what does I mean, God I'm, require I'm, from I'm, you? I'm between me and God right now. You say what? I'm keeping between me and God right now. Okay. There is some thing. There is some thing he required. I mean, you, 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 read, you read the Bible. Uh huh. I know. I know y'all read it. It's all enough requirements. It's, it's something that we have to do. What, right. What, 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 what the biggest thing that, that we have to do that's hard for us to do? I can't answer that. Is love one another? No, bro. That's that is. Brother, let's read, bro, let's read. Bro, listen, That's the hardest thing brother, to do. Listen, no, it's not, brother. Listen, <laughs> listen bro. Listen, bro. Let's go ahead, the, go ahead. That's the elementary right there, bro. Okay, go ahead. Believe. Believe? Believe. 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 So, believe it. That's so what, watch this. I got, I got to go. So wait, wait, wait. wait. I, I'm not let trying to y'all, but let me ask you. The, hard thing to do is, the hard thing to do in life, bro, is to believe. Okay, so how do you believe according to God? 
Huh? Psalms 119, no, verse 66. God, God. You can read, uh, prison, I, I believe in God. I, I'm talking about right. other people. Hey, a prison read it all day long, bro. And it's hard for them to believe. Okay. Something they can't see. So how do but we, we believe we, but we according believe. to God? We, we believe. Listen, listen. How do we believe according to God? That's my question. We got, hey, bro, you got to have faith. You got to believe what you mean, bro. Okay, so like you said, the That's Holy it. Ghost is going to teach us, it's right? Teach us, bro. Let's listen to the Holy Ghost. What does it mean to believe or what should we believe in? Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 66. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I have believed thy commandments. So, you said it's hard for us to believe, right? I 100% agree. Right. What is the first commandment that is hard for us to believe in? Believe in God. Right. What, what, what is his first commandment of the ten? Oh, I know. Okay. No. Let's read. What, what it is, young man? Follow his rules. Okay, I like that. Let's get it. Exodus 20. So now we're gonna go off what you say, right? We we do we do but we on one accord dealing with the Holy Ghost is supposed to teach us. We on one accord that God is supposed to teach us. We on we even on one accord that yes, our people are having a hard time believing, right? right? We just read in Psalms 119, we gotta believe in what? God. But what it say? Okay, let's go back. Let's read it again. Psalms 119 verse 66 Teach me good judgment and knowledge For I have believed thy commandments What are we supposed to believe? Alright So now we ask What's his first commandment? You say show you We about to show you Read that The book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 3 Come on Thou shalt have no other gods but me That's it Thou shalt not make any not to thee any graven image. So the first commandment is don't have no other gods before him, right? What are some other gods? Okay, all right. Okay, now we getting there. Drugs. What else? No, no, no. What else? What else? What else? Let's stay alone now. Sex. That's the, the thoughts, your mind. Thoughts, it's mind. Unbelief. It's all about unbelief. It's what about Christmas? Everything, bro. So Christmas, we're not yeah, supposed yeah, to do that. Yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. One thing about me, bro. One thing about me, brothers. Uh huh. What you ain't supposed to do? What you ain't supposed to do? I, I'm not. With, I'm not with all that, bro. I'm, I mean, be perfect. I'm not with all that because they don't. Because that, that don't have. That don't have nothing to do with you getting to heaven, bro. Matthew 19, 16. They don't have nothing, so, so remember, you they say they you speak to God, right? Have, but they don't have nothing, nothing to do with you getting to heaven, brother. Okay, so watch this. Watch this. You like, believe in Christ, like white, right? Like a whitewashed tomb, bro. Right, right. You believe in Christ, right? Okay. You said believing in the commandments or doing the commandments. Right from wrong, what you should, what you should not do, yep. does not dictate that we get into heaven. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now let's read it out the Bible. Remember. No, no, no. No, you gotta follow the commandments. You, you talking about food and stuff. All, hey, bro. All, all, all that stuff. All, all, all right, right, right there. I mean, y'all, y'all, you, 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 you can what you know, bro. I mean, I'm keeping what the Lord, what the Lord telling me, but you, you believe it or not, it's coming from me. Okay, okay, so let's let's hear what what, let me, what God got to say. Let me talk first, brother. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let me talk first. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. About the fools and all, 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 all this right there designed to do, bro, is to keep is to keep everybody a person blinded. That's that's a trick of the trick of the trick of the enemy, man. Right, bro. It don't matter, bro. Hey, bro. The Bible say if 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 if, if a fool to this person considered not not considered unclean. Should, should I eat it? So, so, so on, let's read on. this. Come on. You stay, you stay stop. Matthew chapter 19, I, I you, verse 16. I, 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 oh, man. Me, hey, we reading out the Bible and, the, and our people don't want to hear God's words. Right. We want to go off our own belief, but the Bible is open right. and we still don't want to hear God's words. But guess what? It's going to come out anyway. Read that. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him. What's your name, young man? Henry. Henry. All right, I'm going to read you a scripture, Henry, and I'm going to ask you a question, all right? So listen good, read. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So young Henry, what was the question right there? What did he just say? Let's read it one more time slow for young Henry, come on. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So what was the question now? He said, what thing that I go to do? To do what? To get what? Uh, life. All right. So you with us. So that's the question, right? What should we do? What are the good things that we should do to have everlasting life, right? All right. Keep reading. Listen, listen. 
And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. So now listen to the answer, and I want you to tell me what Christ said. This is Christ speaking to one to a man. He the man came, asked Christ, What should I do, good master, to have everlasting life, right? So listen to the answer that Christ gave, read. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. How are we going to enter into life? By following God, Ruth. There you go. That's right. So if a baby could understand the Bible, what's going on with these adults? What's going on with these highly educated people? Hi, what you said, sis? Right, right, right. But guess what? Us as parents, we got to be the example. Right. We got to be the example. Read that again. That last part, if thou. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Because our people walking around thinking they living, this ain't living. Right. If you look at the condition, our condition as a people, this ain't living. Right. Going man to man, that ain't living. Right. Going woman to woman, that ain't living. Right. Having sex before marriage, that ain't living. Right. Eating shrimp, crab, pork, lobster, crawfish, that ain't living. Right. Single parent household, that ain't living. Right. Section 8, that ain't living. Right. right. Child support, that's not living. Right. We have been, we have been conditioned to live like we're living. Right. But soon as we, guess what? Us as neighbors, we can't get along. Whether somebody playing their music loud, they having domestic violence, they selling drugs in front of your front door, we can't even get along. But yet we say we living. Yet we say, hey, we good. Right. I'm good. Hey, I got a relationship with Jesus. I got a relationship with God. How is that when our community is in turmoil? Right. right. How is that? We say we Christians, but we don't do one thing Christ say. Wake them up. Let's get that Romans 13. Romans chapter 13, verse 9, of verse 8. So young Henry know, according to the Bible, that the question was, hey, how do we get into life? The life is keeping the commandments. Right. Hold that real quick, Proverbs 21, 16. We coming back. Because we, again, just because we think we breathing, we can see, we got ears. We doing X, Y, and Z. We living our lives how we want to live and not according to God. We think we living. But God commanded a man, hey, you supposed to marry a woman. Right. In 2024, it's homosexuality. What law is that? What commandment is that? Wake them up. What pastor is teaching that? Because that pastor is not sent of God. Right. They tell a woman, hey, you can be like the man. You can lay from woman to woman, t telling a woman to do that. Right. But according to God, that's sin. That's abomination according to him. But we say we all good. Oh, what a friend we have in Jesus. Well, Christ said, hey, you my friend if you keep my commandments. Right. But our people don't care about each other. Read that. To show that the state that our people are in. Come on. The book of Proverbs chapter 21 verse 16. Come on. Yep. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. You see what the Bible say? If we are not keeping these commandments as a people, we in the congregation of the dead. Right.
us life. So, uh, Sirach 19 and 20. It says, if we not keeping these commandments, we are in the congregation of the dead. So how should we be living? What makes us alive? Read that, 1920. The book of Sirach, chapter 19, verse 20. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. So when people say, oh, I got wisdom, what is that wisdom? The wisdom of this world? The wisdom that we learned in the broken education system? The wisdom that, hey, we got to vote every four years for a change? What is that wisdom that the Bible is talking about we have? Read that again. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. Do me a favor, young man. Don't step on the signs. Thank you. Read that again. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. Because a lot of people say, oh, I got a friend in Jesus. Yes, but do you fear him? That's just like the parent-child relationship today. The mothers want to be the daughter's best friend. And then when that daughter grows up to be just like you, to act just like you, now you wondering what's going on. Now you want to send her over to grandma house, big mama house, because she not listening. Because that daughter did not fear that mother. And that mother allowed that daughter to do whatever she want to do. So now that daughter grows up unstable, grows up unruly, now you won't kick her out of the house. Well, that's your fault, mama, because you're right. supposed to be a mother to her. How about the fathers? We, we get a bad rap, the black man. Right. Our children hate us. You know why? Because we don't want to be fathers to our children. Right. We don't want to be husbands to the mother of our children. So the Lord said, hey, he's not mock. You will reap what you sow. So if you sow sin in your household, guess what? That's what's going to be in your household. Right. Sin, confusion, right. drama. Right. That's what's going to be in your household. But if you show your children, hey, as a man, I married your mother. I guided her according to this Bible. We under one roof, and we going to follow these commandments. Guess what your children going to do? Nine times out of ten. Right. They're going to follow the commandments. Right. But if you're showing your child, hey, I'm going to lay from woman to woman to woman, guess what your son going to do? Jeez. The same thing. Right. And just like you on child support, he going to get put on child support. Right. right. But we say we love each other. Yeah. Hey, hey, son, you could, be a, you could be a basketball player. If that don't work out, go sell drugs. Yeah. That's what we teach our young men. But then when our young men die, we want to put them on a T-shirt. That's fake love. That's not real love. That's fake love. Right. You set that young man up. Right. But you're supposed to be the men, the pillars of this community. Right. That's what we're trying to bring back to our nation. Uh, Stability. Right. Our people are not stable. Right. But we wonder why we have crazy. Come on, right. read that. Sirach chapter 19, verse 19. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. You see what the Bible says? Life is the keeping of the commandments. That's right. Because I'm going to tell you, if we out here selling to each other, if we out here black on black crime, that's death. Right. But if we learn how to talk to our people, if we learn how to iron things out, if we learn how to go man to man to each other and deal with one another like brethren, guess what? That's life. Right. It's no jail sentences. Right. It's no, it's no probation. Right. It's no, oh, you know what? Since you a felon, you can't get a good job. Get it's no none of that. It's no black on black crime. Right. It's none of that. But because we choose death, guess what? Death is going to follow you. Right. No matter what sin you in. Come on. And they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. You know what's heavy about that? We oftentimes want to do the things that's pleasing to us. But what about our father? Right. What father would allow his child to disrespect him and still say, hey, that child is, uh, I love that child. I'm going to go all out for that child. I'm going to look out for that child. What father would do that? So why we think when it comes to the heavenly father, no matter what we do to him, oh, he just going to love us. Oh, he just going to look out for us. Oh, he just going to protect us and guide us and be the, the most loving God ever. What planet you live on? Which one of you have a job that you could just come in late, not perform, not do nothing, and think you're still going to keep your job? 
What criminal out here think that, oh, if I just sell drugs, I'm not, I, everything gonna be good. No, the police waiting for you. Right. The police plant uh, informants in your quote unquote crew. And when it's time, guess what? Now you getting turned on. And you wondering, damn, I thought this, I thought this dude was loyal. There's no good that could come from evil. There's no, there's right. no prosperous, or nothing prospering coming from evil. Right. Like husband and wife. If it's, if you, if, if you a male having sex with a male, there's no reproduction coming from that. Right. If you a woman having sex with a woman, there's no, re, there's no reproduction coming from that. Right. That's death. Right. Death. That's why we trying to give you life. Come on. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. Right. And they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. A lot of people think immortality is what we see now. No, immortality is rulership. That's right. Immortality, right. Is, no, uh, uh, immortality is no longer the black man getting gunned down in the street. Right. Whether it's by the cops, whether it's by another white man, or whether it's by your own people. Right. Immortality is no longer uh, dependent on medication right. to make us feel good, right. to, to, to soothe the pain, to right. ease the pain. Right. Immortality is no longer a uh, drama in the household. Right. Here it is. I'm telling y'all, bro, our people got to open their eyes. Right. You claim that the girl, the woman that you with, vice versa, the woman with the man, y'all love each other. Jeez. But yet y'all argue every day. Y'all hate each other every day. Y'all don't respect one another every day. A man can't uh, ask a woman, hey, let me see your phone without some drama. Get out. It's nothing but drama. Get Here it out. is, you got a girlfriend, and she come home, she say, I'm pregnant. Guess what? Sometimes that ain't even yours. Get out. Be because, because you so blind, and you not, you not applying these commandments, guess what? You raised that child. That child now is 25, and come to find out, that child ain't yours. But yeah, we say we love one another. Yeah, we say, hey, we good. We can't be good. All our lives is full of uh, uh, despair. All our lives is full of drama. All our lives is full of vain help, false hope. Right. Because we're not coming back to our father. The black man. God is a black man according to the Bible. That's right. Christ is a black man according to the Bible. That's right. The angels are black men according to the Bible. That's right. The prophets of the Bi of Bible are black men. Right. So why y'all keep running from your own people? Come on, read that. Sirach chapter 20, uh, chapter 19, verse 20. Come on. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom, and in all wisdom is the performance of the law. So we say we wise, we say we have understanding, we say we have knowledge, but it's not according to God. Right. It's not according to this Bible, because the because the knowledge of this world is your uh, a mother would tell her daughter, oh, he ain't doing what you want to do, leave him, or hey, go go run after the rich man, and guess what, have his baby, then put him on, uh, get get a get a uh, a di divorce paper and take half. That's what we do. Right. That's what we do, but we don't understand that that's death. How y'all doing, young man? Hey, he said Christ was white. There you go. That's death in the community. No. Right. We telling our children that a white man is coming to save us. Christ is black. Come on, say that on the, on the mic, young man. This is young uh, Charles, right? Henry. Henry, young Henry. What color is Christ, young Henry? Black. You that's see that? That's right. You that's see that? That's life into our people. That's life to the black community. So let us show you. So y'all think right here, that's Christ? Point to him, point to him. You think that, why you say that? Why you say that? Because he's black. Okay, hold on, hold on, y'all, Henry. Who you pointing to? Right there? Where you, where you at? Where you, what, what? How does Christ look? Point to him. Point to him. Okay. Look at Okay. Young man, who you say? That's Christ, right? So now, do y'all go to church? Yes. Y'all yes. go to church, right? The church, right. <laughs> That's right. That's right, y'all, Harry. The church of liars. That's so right. now, watch right. this. In the in the Christian church, that's who that's who they say Christ looked like, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So now, guess what? What do we have open? 
Bible. The Bible, right? That's so right. now we about to go read the Bible and get the description of Christ. Fair enough? That's what they do in school, right? They give y'all textbooks. They go to the textbook and do what? Get the wisdom, right? So, huh? I don't do my Oh, man. I understand. Because we think low of ourselves. I stay in there for life. Let's get the color of Christ. Revelation 101. Listen up, young man. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Revelation means revealing. The Bible is about to reveal how Christ looked, right? Let's jump to verse 14. Come on. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it was white in color, but what was the texture? White. Were white like wool. Like what? Like wool. Like what? Like wool. Like wool. Wool. What texture? What animal has woolly hair? No. Huh? Wolves? Oh. Woolly hair. Trees. Animal. Sheep. Sheep. I know. I, I know. I'm talking to a group of young smart men. That's sheep, right? So sheep have woolly hair, right? Guess who else, as a nation of people, have woolly hair? Yeah, Jesus. But a nation of people, a race of people. Black people, watch That's this. Right. Here's the proof. Touch your hair. That's wool. That's right. That is woolly textured hair. Read that part of, part again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So white like wool. So the hair on his head, as well as the beard that Christ had, was woolly in texture. Woolly in texture. Read. As white as snow. And white is the color. So now, looking at both of them pictures, which man has white, woolly hair? You see there? See how easy that is? But let's get some more. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Meaning his eyes was red in color. What man out of these two pictures, eyes are red like wine? You see that? He, he said this man. We about to prove who this man is. Read. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. So guess what? Christ had a foot feet. So if he had feet, then that means what? He had to have legs. Right. He had to have a stomach. Right. He had to have a chest, a right. back, neck, face. Meaning what? Christ had a body. Right. Even a hair of his head. And all of, your head is on what? Neck. You're on your neck. Your neck is a part of your what? Body. Your body. That's right. So Christ had a body. So read that part again. And and his feet like unto fine brass. Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brass. Brass. B r a s s. Like a penny. What color is a penny? Brown. I know we got smart men. Right. I know we got smart young boys here. Yeah. Like copper, yes. Like a like a bronze metal. Right. That's the color. Like your hands and your arms, your right. face, your legs, your feet. But watch this. Now let's see how dark that copper color is or that brown color is. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace. Now let me ask y'all something. Y'all should say this all together. You burn anything in, in with fire, what color does it turn? Black. You know? No, Black. Wait, wait, wait. It's Red. like a brownish and black. Right. If you if you put toast in the toaster and you leave it in for too long and it come out, what color it is? Black. Black. That's right. So That's proven, right. so now I'm gonna ask you, out of these two pictures, which one is Jesus Christ? No. There you go. Is he burnt in a furnace? Is he brown? No. So which one out of these two pictures is Christ? Y'all see that? So now y'all just learned something. That Christ is a black man according to the Bible. That's right. Daniel 10. So we have been, learned, uh, been learning in the Christian church. Well, I'm going to just say it bluntly. Nothing. We have not been learning the truth of this Bible. Daniel 10. Listen, listen. Daniel chapter 10, verse 5. We're going to get some more on the color of Christ. Read. Then I lifted up mine eyes and looked. And behold, a certain man clothed in linen. 
So this is a certain man clothed in linen, right? Read. Whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphaz. Come on. His body. His what? His body. We are talking about Jesus the Christ. Listen. Come on. Also was like the barrel. Come on. And his face as the appearance of lightning. Here come. Here come. Read. And his eyes. And his eyes. Listen. Listen. Come on. As lamps of fire. His eyes as lamp of fire. Y'all listening, young men. Y'all ain't even paying attention. His eyes as a flame of fire, keep reading. And his arms. Uh-oh, it's talking about his arms. I can see your arms, right? I can see the color of your arms, right? Read. And his arms and his feet. His arms and his feet, read. Like in color. Like in what? Like in color. We are reading the Holy Bible, and the Bible is talking about what? Color. It's talking about color. Don't let nobody tell you color is not in the Bible. Right. Color is in the Bible. Read that part again, like. And his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass. We already established that the color of brass is what color? Brass. So brass. it's brass. talking about Jesus the Christ. Right. His arms, it talked about his arms right. and his feet and his face like in color to polished brass. What color is brass? Green. Oh, my brass. Oh, brown. Brown. There you go. Brown. brown. So we're talking about Jesus the Christ. That's right. He's a black man according to the Bible. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. in